Managua is the capital of uh, five cities that we are envisioning that will be on Mars. Basically, the total population is a million people among the five cities. Managua being the capital is in Tempe Mensa, which is in a north hemisphere of uh, Mars. We have done an analysis within that it can start by uh, 2054. That's when the city can start construction and it can be built by 2100. Space is highly uh, valuable on Mars. It's very expensive and it has to be contained. So the way we are uh, solving it is by having uh, residential quarters where uh, people are living in a small area. We are basically talking about 32 square meters per person, but then we have other spaces that are for the community. Living on Mars is way too challenging. So uh, it's more about living in a, in a communal life where each other help uh, uh, the community to be able to, to stay alive. Otherwise, they won't survive. It's way too harsh. Here on Earth, we use around 6,000 square meters per person for anything related with uh, crops, or agriculture or a, a food for animals, right? On Mars, we are solving all of that need with 120 square meters. Most of the food that we have on Mars is crop. It is not efficient to have a, a food that is based on animals. There is some food like 10% of the food that is based on insects and cellular meat. the uh, learnings that we are getting by developing a fully sustainable city on Mars is bringing us so much know-how and ideas and insights about things that we could do different on Earth. We cannot make the same mistakes that we have done since the industrialization of, of basically damaging our planet. So if we have the right systems and processes in place, we can uh, try to minimize or ensure that uh, new colonizations on, on other uh, planets happen sustainably. And that is something that uh, can be extremely important for, for uh, understanding a, a, a new way of, of living.